Hello, this is professional video game related video content creator Tim Rogers. You are watching Kotaku.com. Nothing says boo quite like a ghost. Literally. Today, on the Kotaku.com Hot 11, we're going to be looking at the spookiest, scariest video game ghosts of all time. From Pac-Man's Inky, Binky, Plinky, and Clyde, to Mario's terrifying nemesis, the Boo Buddy, ghosts have been oozing out of the digital woodwork since the beginnings of video game history. So without further ado, let's get haunted with the list. Some of the entries might surprise you, or should I say, they might just jump out and scare you. Welcome to heaven. Let's start with number 11. Not too many Japanese role-playing games are known for chilling horror, so we had to go all the way back to the roots. Not two minutes into the original Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior if you're old school, if you walk far enough north of the first town without equipping any weapons or armor, you might encounter this ghost who can kill your hero dead in a matter of seconds. Dragon Quest artist Akira Toriyama, also the author of the popular Dragon Ball comics, has always had an eye for fashion his ghost design depicts a phantom which has found a hat. This sends chills down the spine. This particular ethereal spirit possesses the tangible substance to interact with the corporeal. Sorry, I'll say it in English, Poindexter. If a ghost can wear a hat, it can also physically beat you to death and turn your menus orange. I gotta agree with the king. Death certainly should not have taken the Bilby. Doing it again, it's number 10. The Boo, aka Boo Diddly, aka Boo Buddy, is maybe the most prolific ghost in the video game lexicon. In a subtle tribute to the simple behaviors of the ghost of Pac-Man, Boo Buddies chase Mario when he turns his back and stop cold when Mario turns to face them. In other words, whoa, this ghost is afraid of you. Just like that, these ghosts offer us the chilling knowledge that even in the afterlife, there is fear. If you consider Super Mario Bros. 3 the Bible, like I do, this truth bomb right here has already cast a morbid shadow over your living attitude. Tip, you can only kill them with the hated hammers. Get some hammers! Fun fact, in the Japanese version, boos are called Teresa, like the English name Teresa. This is because Tere is short for Tereru, which means to act shy. So these little buddies are girls. I didn't need to know that. Shout me out in the comments if you also didn't need to know that, bro. It's number nine, and we're feeling fine. We've got Lady Comstock's ghost from Bioshock Infinite. She's the wife of a wicked, racist patriarch whose daughter can rip holes across multiple dimensions. In a game that suspends your disbelief way up in the stratosphere, literally, it takes a lot to surprise the player. And Lady Comstock's ghost does just that when she shows up to get revenge on something together with her army of ghost cops. When was the last time you headshotted a ghost with a sniper rifle? Probably the scariest thing about Lady Comstock's ghost is that a team of 16,000 developers couldn't say no to making you have to fight her three times in the game. Less than once was enough, cowboys. Are you feeling great? Well, how about number eight? It's the Big Boo from Super Mario World. Nope, we're not done with Mario's most hated enemy just yet. The Boo made her first appearance in Super Mario Bros. 3, way back on the original Nintendo Entertainment System. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System took graphics to the next level, and that meant bigger boos. These big ghosts were just as shy as their baby cousins, and twice as frightening. The only way to harm the big boo is to throw ice blocks at her. I've played enough video games to know that ice beats fire, so this little factoid right here rips this mystery wide open. Despite our tendency to describe them as chilling, ghosts are, according to Super Mario World, in fact, hot. Think of every time you've seen a ghost phase through a human body in a film or a television program. It must feel like having a Gatorade tub full of boiling water dumped over your head. Youch! Feeling lucky? How about number seven? Chinese Buddhists have a concept of a hungry ghost. These are ghosts of people who died in extreme, violent, or unfortunate circumstances. These ghosts, naturally, are scarier than your run-of-the-mill happy dead ghosts. Turn your terrified gaze, then, to this one one particular Boo variation from Super Mario World. Look at her. She's chewing. Who is she? Who was she? How did she die? Only to be reborn with such insatiable hunger. It's safe to say this little buddy here has unfinished business. She's most likely gnawing on the meat of a dead Luigi. So far in our list, we've learned that ghosts are hot, can wear hats, and can beat us to death. Now, we know they have an appetite. Now it's time for number six. Six, six? We've established that Mario 
Mario's constant pursuer, the Boo, cannot approach Mario from the front, such as her fear of face-to-face -face confrontation. Well, in Super Princess Peach, a voluminous cult gaggle of Boos have somehow united under the leadership of a single idea to triumph over that fear which defines the shape of their eternal wandering tarnation. In simultaneously donning blindfolds and masks, these Boos illustrate that ghosts possess an acute capacity for communication and coordination. Ghosts are scary enough when they're just cat ghosts under the spare bed in Grandma's house, though when they unionize? I'm checking out of this hotel. We're still alive and it's time for number five. Remember the last time you stepped out of the bathroom and your roommate said, you look like you've just seen a ghost? Yeah, me too. Let's face it, lots of things are scarier than seeing a ghost, though few of them can compare with becoming a ghost yourself. Here we see even Super Mario is not immune to that disease doctors describe as mortality. One bite of a marshmallow mushroom and boom, ghosted. His mustache is a gripping reminder that even when we're gone, we take something with us, unbequeathable to our heirs. Mario leaves no mustache to baby Mario. Here lies Mario's shaven skeleton, his facial hair doomed to wander. Jeepers creepers. I think I speak for all of us when I say a lot more than Mario's ghost vanished when we shook that Wiimote, am I right? Ready for more? Here's number four. Or should I say number four? Mario Golf Toadstool Tour is more than just a good walk spoiled. It's a good walk haunted with ghosts. This ghost here can't even walk, much less have its walk spoiled. I wonder if the PGA would consider this a violation of the no golf carts rule. Golf is a sport for lazy sun Sunday mornings. Sunday is the day of rest in many cultures. My great-grandpa, who died before I was born, used to always tell me that to see a ghost on a Sunday morning is an ill omen. That puts this little buddy high up on our list. My spiritual friend, I respect you and your short game. However, I'd prefer it if you went back to the haunted house where you belong. Also, stop telling me how to play. We're almost free. It's time for number three. This one must be a poltergeist because it's causing quite a racket. It's Mario Tennis from all the way back in the year 2000. Once again, we've got us a ghost who does not fear the daylight. Here it is, out in the open, playing sports with humans. This feverish, boiling hot, cackling, human meat-eating cartoon spermatozoa can both wield a tennis racket and smash wicked serves. Fun fact, sports scientists consider hitting a speeding tennis ball with a tennis racket one of the absolutely most difficult feats of hand-eye coordination a human can perform. Well, this ghost can do it like it's no big deal. What else can it do? I don't even want to think about it. It's just me and you and it's time for number two. Did you know sports scientists consider hitting a baseball with a baseball bat to be the absolutely most difficult feat of hand-eye coordination a human can perform? Well, this ghost can do that like it's no big deal. What else can it do? I don't even want to think about it. When I was a kid, I used to say, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Though for the most part, I was quoting a movie. Now, a ghost wielding a wooden club and superhuman hand-eye coordination? I am afraid of that. Whoa. Whoa. She can pitch, too. Oh, no. Anyone who's ever been in a batting cage knows these balls come at you fast. Lacking corporeal matter, this ghost likely possesses no sympathy for the human bruise reflex. Fun fact, the average pitch speed among the top 10 fastest pitchers in Major League Baseball right this minute is 97.95 miles per hour. An unfeeling spirit throwing that kind of heat could make even an astronaut nervous. Whoa. She made Peach cry. And I thought the ghosts in Field of Dreams were scary. Field of Dreams? More like Field of Screams. Shoeless Joe Jackson? More like Footless Joe Jackson. Wait, how is the Goomba even holding the bat? It doesn't have arms. Are Goombas ghosts? There can be only one, so it's time for number one. With such a rich legacy of video game ghosts, it was hard to pick a champ. In the end, it was a toss-up between the ghosts that started it all, Inky, Binky, Plinky, and Clyde from Pac-Man, and our ultimate winner. Yep, it's Queen Boo from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch. Look, ghosts are terrifying on principle, and boos are even more so. They are starving cannibal ghosts of grisly murder corpses. They are hot like fire. They know true fear. They 
wield the wherewithal to overcome their truest fears. They have stepped out from the dark and into the light, and their kill susceptible only to hammers of exceeding rarity. So what makes the Queen Boo the scariest of them all? Let me lay down the bullet points. It's exorbitantly wealthy enough to afford a solid gold crown, it's driving a car, and it knows exactly what happens when you die. Fun fact! You're statistically more likely to die in a car accident than as a serial killer's murder victim. This godforsaken netherling here combines those odds into one primal fear. I'm getting so many willies just thinking about it that I'm gonna have to change my Levi's 501 original fit jeans. If there was a ghost we missed, or if you've got a skeleton bone to pick with us, or if you're just a weirdo who doesn't live within a hundred miles of a boxing gym and you absolutely need to scream at someone, go ahead and put that caps lock on in the comments, buddy. Until next time, if you don't send me photographic proof that you shattered your mouse smashing that like button, Kotaku.com editor-in-chief Steven Totillo is going to dunk my head in the toilet. I was born stupid, however, I will not die hungry. Video games forever, Kotaku.com. Thank <laughs> you.